Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today I'm going to talk about a special formation in the flying star feng shui. And we see this special formation in August 2022 flying star monthly chart. And I didn't notice that when I was preparing the chart last month. And now I just want to point out the special formation of this chart so you can be aware and be more prepared. So this special flying star formation is called the uh, Fu Yin. And to understand what Fu Yin means, we have to look at the uh, Luo Shu, the natal chart. This is a nine palace Luo Shu chart we see all the time. We have number five in the center, number nine in the south, which is on the top in the traditional Chinese map, and the number one in the north which is on the bottom of the map. So if you look from top left to the right, it's 492, 357, and A16. And this is the original location for the Luo Shu chart. And also this year, the year of tiger, that's our yearly chart too. And in August, this is exactly the same chart. The number five star is in the center, number nine on the top, and the all nine stars are in the same location. And what Fu Yin means is when one star is in the same location as the original Luo Shu chart. For example, if the flying star number five go to the center, and that's the same number with the Luo Shu chart, we call that Fu Yin. And the same in every palace or every sectors. And in August 2022, you can see all directions and all the stars are in the full in formation. So what does that mean? It's actually a pretty negative formation. That means you can have more problem with your finance. There's more chance of losing money or money can just disappear for some reason. And it also can mean health problems or injury, accident, and also conflict or argument in the family. So during this month of August, based on the Chinese solar turns, we just want to be extra careful because the energy is kind of unsettling and very tense. So we just be more careful about your finance and your health. And when the luck is not on your side, it's always better to be more conservative and take less risk and pay attention to details and focus on your own duty and responsibilities. And there is a very similar formation called the Fan Yin. Fan means the reverse. So what that means is the star number add up the Luo Shu natal chart number will become number 10. That's called the Fan Yin. And that's also a negative formation. It's even worse than the Fu Yin. And this can happen in only one section of the nine sections, or it can happen in several areas or the whole chart. For example, in the Southwest, we have number two in the Luo Shu chart. And if in the Southwest, the monthly chart or the yearly chart is number eight. A plus two is 10, so that's called the Fan Yin in that section. And in the south, it's number nine, so if we have a number one star going to the south, that's also the Fan Yin. What that means is similar to the Fu Yin. You can have financial problems and uh, family disharmony, argument, and uh, health issues or accident or injury. And the Fan Yin is usually worse than the Fu Yin. There's another major flying star feng shui that use the house direction and the house construction period to find the facing star and the mountain star. So if you know your house construction year or the last major renovation year, and also the house facing direction on the 24 mountains or the 24 sections. 
then you can find your house chart and the Fu Yin and Fan Yin rules will apply to those charts too. So if your mountain star or water star is the same as a Luo Shu chart or add the Luo Shu chart number and becomes 10, that's either Fan Yin or Fu Yin and that can mean negative energy. Another type of Fu Yin is to look at your period star. We are in period 8 now, so here is our period 8 star. From the top to the right, it's 735, 681, and 249. So if your star number is the same as the period 8 chart star, then that's also called a Fu Yin. So here is an example. We have the period 8 chart here. In the west, we have a number 1 star. And if we have a flying star, number one goes to west. It can be a mountain star or the facing star or even the monthly star. This is called Fu Yin. And here is a big difference for the Fan Yin. If your current period chart and your flying star add up to 10 in any of the section, it's actually lucky. It means finance luck or relationship luck. So that is very different and it's not considered Fan Yin. So for Fan Yin, we only have to look at the original Luo Shu chart and not the current period chart. But for the Fu Yin, we look at the both the Luo Shu chart and the current period chart. I hope this is not too confusing. This is more advanced flying star feng shui. I mentioned this because of the August flying star monthly chart and yearly star for 2022 have the same formation and the same province. So you will be even stronger during this month. If you only have Fu Yin or Fan Yin in one or a few directions or sectors, we will try to avoid important furnitures in those directions. That means we try to avoid the main entrance in that direction and try to avoid a kitchen stove and avoid a master bedroom in those directions because those are not very lucky directions. So that's all about the Fan Yin and Fu Yin. And when I look at the monthly chart for August 2022, I feel like we need to pay more attention because all nine palaces are in the full in position. But there's no need to panic. It's just the tendency for the energy to be a little bit more unsettling and things might not go as well as we like. But we still need to keep our calm and behave wisely, avoid any risky business, and focus on your own responsibilities and we should have a safe month. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you in the next video.